Okay, I got my magic band. You got your magic band? I do. What card is it? I'm not I'm not showing you my contraption. <laughs> it's a rubber band with like little cards on it just put on a wrist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was just making it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Hey everybody, I'm a <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Amanda. I'm Mike. And we are the High Suit Disney. Disney. So welcome back to the channel. Donna's back with us again, all the way from California. <laughs> So really excited to have you back. I'm glad that you decided to come back and chillax with us. Yeah, I guess that's a good. Um, yeah, yeah, totally. Today we are going to talk about magic bands because we have them. Several dozen of them, it seems like. And I have mine. And Donna has hers. And Donna, show the world. Yes. What? This is called ingenuity, right here. <laughs> the SoCal special. How do fast passes and like getting into the park and that kind of stuff work? So I have my pass. This is my um, older pass, but mostly now what I do is like, since I have my other new card on my phone, all I do is I show that barcode when I show up to the park or I like for parking since I get free parking with mine. And then when I get to the park, same thing, show it on my phone. They scan that, and then from there, since I have Max Pass with this pass, I can make fast passes from my phone without actually like walking to the attraction. But most everyone else who doesn't have Max Pass would have to walk to the attraction um, with their uh, card, and then they would stick it in a machine. You you can't do it on your phone if you don't have Max Pass. Like, so you have to go to every ride you want to go on to scan to get a mat to get a, a fast pass. Yeah, that's yeah. what we did when we left. I don't remember. Like, that's, that's so much work. And then just real quick, because uh, I know about Max Pass, but our viewers might not. Um, and so from my understanding, it's similar to the Walt Disney World system in the fact that it's all on your phone. So you don't have to go, again, you don't have to go to those attractions, but it does cost extra money if you're not yeah. a pass holder, right? Since uh, my pass comes with it automatically, I don't know the exact amount. I think it's around like 10 or $15. Yeah. I don't think it's a whole lot. And I think that's just like for the day, but if you wanted to buy it for the entire time you had the pass, I think it's like $80 and then that's you would just have it on your pass. That's not bad though. No, it's not bad. And I think with Max Pass, you also get free photo pass. Yeah, which is what kind of makes it. Okay, that would be fair. Cause I'm, I know that we have to pay if you get like the photo pass stuff at Disney World, it's like a hundred and seventy bucks for the entirety for, of your for trip. the entirety of your trip. I think it's like for thirty days is how long mm -hmm. it lasts for. Um, or if you have an annual pass, it's on your annual pass already. All right. Well, now that we know how fast passes and getting into the parks works at Disneyland, why don't you sit back? So we'll relinquish we'll that one to. Uh moderately brisk walking pass. I feel like my world is going to get severely rocked. Let's just start at the beginning of a Disney trip and kind of work our way through a Disney trip of what your magic band does. So about 30 days-ish before your hotel reservation, you get to select a magic band on your My Disney Experience, either on the app or on the website. And so you can get plain colored magic bands. I think they're red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink gray. and gray if you don't select one like if you don't choose one then you automatically get a gray one that you can pick up at the hotel so if you stay on property you get a free magic band which is cool or you can get a fun one like mine has toy story four characters all over it and you can pay a little bit extra so i think i paid ten dollars for this one versus in the parks they're like 24 for like a specialty what? one, I know. So you'll order your colors and then they'll either get shipped to your house or you can pick them up at the hotel if for whatever reason you don't get them done in time or whatever. And then, but you do want them shipped to your house. When you get off of the airplane at MCO, you will go down the stairs, you'll get lost about 400 times trying to find it and you get to the Magical Express, which brings you 
to the hotels and you'll scan in your magic band and it brings up your reservation and tells you which lane to go into to get on the right bus. What? Yeah, so your hotel will be linked, like your hotel reservation will be linked. So they'll know which hotel you're going to. And then you'll scan it again when you get on, like when you're getting ready to get on the bus just to make sure you're in the right lane, whatever. It's literally free transportation from yeah, it, the airport. Dis- yeah, it's, yeah. So it's all Disney owned buses with the support of Mears, who are a bus transportation company. Yeah, yeah. and they take you from Orlando Airport to your hotel. So then you'll get to your hotel. Hopefully you're already checked in online. And when you get to your hotel room, you'll, you know, get to your hotel door and you'll just go beep. And it will also let you into your hotel. Yeah, so. No, no this isn't real. None of this is real. So then when you leave your hotel room or wherever and you take your whatever transportation you're taking to get to, let's just say, Magic Kingdom. You're at Magic Kingdom, you're at the gates, and you scan your magic band again, and that's your ticket, and then you do your whatever your fingerprint, fingerprint. Uh, and then it'll light up green, and it'll go bum, 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 yeah. and you'll say, hey, go into the parks. So when it's time to go to one of your three fast passes you've made ahead of time, you know, you just go up to Space Mountain, and let's say your time is between 10 and 11, you'll go anytime between 10 and 11, scan your magic band in, it'll either light up green saying, hey, you're good to go, go in, go ride the ride, or it'll light up blue saying there's some sort of issue. You can, you can buy food. Like you can like literally put your credit card on your Disney app and link it to this. And what happens is it gets charged back to your room. And then every night, Disney cashes out whatever you spent that day to your card. They charge $100 um, up front. As like a, um, as like a, as a deposit, and then at night, no matter how much you spend, whether it's five bucks or one hundred and seventy bucks, they charge that out and then give you the hundred dollars back. And then the next day, they'll do the same thing. And so, like you can, what? Just, you literally don't have to carry any cash or anything like that. You literally just, you can buy gifts, you can buy anything. It just charges it to your room. It's like a room charge. It's like having a tab, it's like having an open tab here. You're like especially when you're drinking around the world at Epcot. Ding, <laughs> ding. See, this is dangerous. You, it is you dangerous. don't, you can't just like. That's what they're saying. Like, if you use cash, you have this sense of loss because you're looking at yep. it, like, leaving yep. your hand. I would, like, credit cards are less of that, but I would feel, I would feel no remorse at all. Yep. I'm just being like, bing, bing, bing. It is dangerous. The um, only thing that's rough, typically, I know it's changing, and I don't know if it'll be a permanent change or just one because of COVID, um, is that they now you can put your gift cards onto your magic band or like attach it to your account or whatever but that wasn't a thing until recently like that's a brand new thing that's just starting when the parks open in july so before we would have to bring our physical gift cards with us in the park if we if we had discounted gift cards or whatever gifts from friends or family um which is fine but it's a lot easier to scan your magic band but you could also just go when you get back from the hotel at the end of the day, just bring them your gift card and say, hey, I want to pay off my balance. Yeah. With this you do that as well. Card. When you get back to the hotel, you just want to pay off this with my gift card. You can only buy things with your Magic Band with a hotel reservation. That's Correct. it. Correct. As of right now. Yeah. yeah. Your Magic Bands can also be your photo pass yeah. spot. So when you go and you stand in front of the castle and you go, tease. Then, like this. or you know, you, you make a little card or whatever you're doing in front of the castle and being cute. See, that's them. that's so much easier because anytime I have to do photo pass, I have to like be done being all cute and then like take out my phone. Let me open the app. Let me get to my code. Let you scan the code. All right, got it. Yep, yeah, nope. This is literally okay. You're done. Great, thanks. See, yeah. that's so much faster. Of the here. Yeah, same thing with ride photos. I think most of the ride photos now don't have a spot at the end for you to actually scan. They yeah. automatically go onto your, like they track you on the ride and so yeah, somehow it picks up. It. Somehow it picks up your magic band as you're going through the ride somewhere and determines where you're at and then be, is able to actually place you and give, give you the picture. So here's a cool thing that I, I have that I, and this is my favorite magic band holder that we purchased that so is cool it is the genie and actually it actually is the puck which actually goes inside here i'll pop it open this is actually what actually the only thing that reads your your card yeah 
So this is the RFID. It just goes in the back here like that. And then, and then it just goes back in there like this. And then I can, I can clip it on my belt so that I don't wear my wrist and I just pull it out and there it is. What, you don't like weird watch tans? Oh, weird, weird tan lines? Well, we don't know about those. It's weird for me though too, because usually when I go, I bring my Apple watch just so I can be connected. And so I don't like having a one on each, each wrist. Like I'm left-handed. So my watch goes here and this is what I do everything with. Mm -hmm. So having one here, I try to use my Apple Watch to scan with all the time. Like, oh, oh, hold on, other arm. Shout out to Believe Dream Imagine. Uh, they're awesome over there. I don't know if you follow them or not, Donna, but uh, they're high school kids that 3D print them, and their shop is awesome. Sorry, future Amanda, for having to edit all this, but I don't care. See, I'm just going to start waving, so when you start editing it, you're just going to see me waving. I literally could go into Disney with this and my phone and not have to have anything else. That's too much power. I love going just with this and, and my phone. And I can literally walk in. Empty your pockets. Here's my phone. And then I just walk right through. But yeah, but I mean, this definitely, when we've gone on trips, just the two of us, we don't bring a bag into the park because literally all we do is just have our phones and our magic bands. Well, that's going to change when we go. Well, oh yeah. Well, now that I have more lounge fly bags, it's going to change. They have the camera equipment too, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just a camera. Yeah, but you could carry it with you, but having it in a bag is so much easier. It's your pass, it's a credit card, it's photo pass, it's a hotel room key. It's right your idea. Like, you can't add any more onto that. If you have, if you're doing the dining plan, it's also your dining pa pass. Your dining plan credits. Your dining yeah. plan credits as well. Any other questions you've got, Donna? I think that answered all of them. It's does just this, a mystical thing. Does this make you more excited for your trip? Honestly, yeah, because I like the idea that it, there's just like one thing that holds everything. Oh, and by the way, they are waterproof. Um, yes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go swimming with it on, but like they're water ride proof. You can wear them at the water parks. I just wouldn't like leave my hand underwater with it for hours. Yeah. But they are waterproof which is good in Florida weather because it rains all the time. Yeah, I was, I need to get my raincoat probably a little bit closer to the trip date. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Donna, do you want to tell everybody again where they can find you on the internet? Oh, geez. Um, oh, geez. You, can, oh, geez. you can find me at OG's Pizza. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. You can find me at um, DonnaGale.BBY. That's my Instagram handle. And that, that's where you can find me. I'm sure you can find me other places, but that's where I want you to find me. <laughs> and as always, you can find us at the Hides to Disney. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Tell us your favorite part about Magic Bands or what part made you excited if you are a Disneyland person that's never used a Magic Band before. And make sure to subscribe. Again, almost at the 200 subscriber mark. And if you're banging your hands on the table right now because you missed something glaringly obvious, please let us know. Yes. Oh, also, Donna, while I have you here, can I put you down to make an order? I mean, I'll pay you, obviously, but can I put you down to make an order or some sort of gift card or something for our 200-person giveaway? Like, would you like to be involved in that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's hit okay. it. All right. You heard it here first. Uh, our giveaway, once we hit 200 subscribers, I'll pay for Donna to make you a shirt. Yay. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.